Week 4 Wednesday Evening Prayer Oh God come to our assistance O Trinity of blessed light O unity of princely might the fiery sun has gone its way shed now within our hearts your ray to you our morning song of praise to you our evening prayer we raise your glory suppliant we adore forever and forever more Psalm 139 verses 1 to 18 and 23 to 24 How wonderful is this knowledge of yours that you have shown me Lord O Lord you search me and you know me you know my resting and my rising you discern my purpose from afar You mark when I walk or lie down all my ways lie open to you Before ever a word is on my tongue you know it O Lord through and through Behind and before you besiege me your hand ever laid upon me Too wonderful for me this knowledge too high beyond my reach O oh, where can I go from your spirit or where can I flee from your face If I climb the heavens you are there If I lie in the grave you are there If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the seas farthest end Even there your hand would lead me Your right hand would hold me fast If I say Let the darkness hide me and the light around me be night even darkness is not dark for you and the night is as clear as the day glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen how wonderful is this knowledge of yours that you have shown me lord i am the lord who tests the mind and heart i give each man what his conduct deserves for it was you who created my being knit me together in my mother's womb i thank you for the wonder of my being for the wonders of all your creation already you knew my soul my body held no secret from you when i was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth your eyes saw all my actions they were all of them written in your book every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being to me how mysterious your thoughts the sum of them not to be numbered if i count them they are more than the sand to finish i must be eternal like you o oh, search me god and know my heart o oh, test me and know my thoughts see that i follow not the wrong path and lead me in the path of life eternal Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen I am the Lord who tests the mind and heart 
I give each man what his conduct deserves. Canticle from the letter to the Colossians chapter 1 verses 12 to 20 All things were created in him and he holds all things in being Let us give thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption the forgiveness of sins he is the image of the invisible god the firstborn of all creation for in him all things were created in heaven and on earth visible and invisible all things were created through him and for him He is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the first born from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven. making peace by the blood of his cross glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen all things were created in him and he holds all things in being a reading from the first letter of saint john chapter 2 verses 3 to 6 we can be sure that we know god only by keeping his commandments anyone who says i know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar refusing to admit the truth but when anyone does obey what he has said god's love comes to perfection in him We can be sure that we are in God only when the one who claims to be living in him is living the same kind of life as Christ lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is Lord as the apple of your eye. God is Lord as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings God is Lord as the apple of your eye Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit God is Lord as the apple of your eye Show the power of your arm Lord put down the proud and exalt the lowly My soul glorifies the Lord My spirit rejoices in God my savior He looks on his servant in her lowliness henceforth all ages will call me blessed The almighty works marvels for me holy his name his mercy is from age to age on those who fear him He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son. and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen show the power of your arm lord put down the proud and exalt the lowly intercessions let us ask the father from whom every family in heaven and on earth 
takes its name to send the spirit of his son into our hearts as we pray Lord in your mercy hear our prayer O Lord the creator and redeemer of all mankind we humbly pray for all men of every race in every kind of need make your ways known to them and reveal your salvation to all nations may the whole church be guided and governed by your holy spirit let all who call themselves christians be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit we commend to your fatherly goodness all who are afflicted or distressed comfort and relieve them according to their needs and grant them the love and consolation of your spirit father give you a place of life and rest to those who have died in your peace may we share with them in the glory of jesus christ who died to save us all our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen remember your people lord and show them mercy as you satisfy the hungry with food from heaven enrich our poverty from your abundance we make our prayer through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit god forever and ever amen the lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life amen